um, anesthesia critical care uh, physician. And, uh, it's Easter Sunday. Doctors in Baltimore are kicking off a six-hour Zoom chat with nurses in the West African nation of Sierra Leone. The country of 8 million has 13 ventilators and two anesthesiologists. One is recovering from a stroke. The other is in quarantine. Anesthesiologists are supposed to handle or supervise the intubation of critically ill patients, but Sierra Leone saw its healthcare system crumble after years of civil war. Another option has emerged in this pandemic, video training with physicians across the world. So it might be a rushed environment and the patient is decompensating, you always want to make sure that you have everything prepared, which includes IV access to give medication. The sickest patients require anesthesia as they go on breathing machines. But most of Africa's 54 nations have fewer than one doctor who can provide it per 100,000 people. In order to put on the N95 mask, uh, you want to make sure that you get it fit tested. The continent faces the world's most extreme shortage, health experts say. Physicians used to board planes to help each other through times of crisis, but now almost everyone needs their experts at the same time, and dozens of nations have closed their airports. With no other choice, doctors across the planet are linking up with their African counterparts on video calls. They sit six feet apart in hospital conference rooms, demonstrating techniques on human dummies with fake lungs. What I'm doing as well is wearing a face shield. So again, this helps with guarding you from splashes, it's also going to help with protecting your mask. If you don't have anesthesia, you don't have critical care, said Dr. John Sampson, an anesthesiologist who led the class last weekend at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. By the end of the week, they hope to have at least 15 more healthcare workers ready for the fight against the coronavirus in Sierra Leone.